So last time we were able to fix these image view widgets here and actually make them square so they look they look nice on our profile. And uh, now we need to actually get some data from Firebase. So we need to be able to register new users and actually store their data in Firebase. So this week we're going to basically be getting started with creating uh, new users and storing their information in Firebase. And the first thing I want to do is I'll get the uh, test app open here. We're going to build this login screen so that you can actually log in. And if you don't have an account, then you can click on create an account and register an account here. And that way, then we can actually get user data started to get stored in Firebase. Once we have that done, we can start storing the images, start storing the number of followers, number of following, posts, all this information basically. But we have to start with being able to log in. So let's get started with uh, with that layout. So we'll go to our project here and we'll create a new layout file. So let's go down here, create a new layout file, new layout resource, and we'll call it, it's gonna be an activity and it's gonna be where we log in. So I'm gonna call it activity login. And we'll go to the text tab and let's change this to a relative layout and get rid of this orientation. And let's take a look at the, oh, I don't have the app running anymore. Uh, maybe it'll be a good idea to have that running so we can use it as sort of a template. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be trying to build. So we basically need an image view widget up here and then we need, I guess we can just use a linear layout and do uh, t an email input, a password input, a button, and then this little link down here. So actually using an a linear layout, a vertical linear layout will be pretty easy. So that's what we'll do. So let's create a linear layout and let's do match parent and wrap content for the height and let's give it a vertical orientation so orientation vertical and uh, maybe do some padding on oops padding padding top maybe 55 dp just to bring bring that image view widget down a little bit and we'll do a little bit of padding on the left and on the right so padding left maybe 25 dp and padding right 25 dp that'll kind of bring everything into the center and the first thing we'll do is that image view widget actually maybe i'll get the image in here and then we can then we can size it as we need so i'll just do just kind of randomly 70 70 dp here and maybe 20 dp oh that's way too small we'll do wrap content and just throw a 40 dp in here and now i'm gonna get that image in here so here I'm just gonna find the drawables folder in my Instagram clone project file. So source, main, res, drawable. And then I'm just gonna drag the drawable file in. So I have this Instagram logo file that I just got from the internet. Just gonna drag that in. This, this is gonna be our logo right here. So just drag that into the drawables folder. Yours, everybody's is gonna be different. If you don't know how to do this, you just go to wherever your Android Studio projects are, go to your, your app folder, then go app source main res drawable and just drag that into here and then it's going to show up in here so there you can see the instagram logo is coming through in my drawables folder and let's just set it to the image view so let's go source uh drawables and let's see here where is the instagram one instagram logo there we go okay so that's still pretty small maybe we'll try a different height let's go 70 dp that looks a little better. So we'll try 70 dp first, yeah, maybe 75. And then we'll run it and take a look and see if that's the size that we want. And we want to center this horizontally. So we'll go gravity, layout gravity, uh, center, horizontal. And then finally, just maybe a little margin on the bottom. So we'll do just 25 dp. Okay, so now we need our, our text input for our email. So this kind of text input right here. And we're gonna use something from the design support library which is the one that we got in our grail file here, the design support library. This is actually an old version. There's, I think it's 25.4.0 is available now. But if, you, if you've already got this, then we'll just stick with this. So we'll close that. And we're gonna create something called a text input layout. So we'll text input layout, you can see that right there. And do match parent for the width and wrap content for the height. And we'll just throw some margins in here. So margin top of maybe just 8 dp and margin bottom of 8 dp. And then we're gonna create an edit text field inside of this text input layout. So just start typing, typing edit text. 
and match parent for the width once again and wrap content for the height and then we need to set a text input type so text or uh, input type and since this is going to be an email we can set it as a text email address input type so text email address and basically what that's going to do is it's going to check the text that gets entered in the text field and if it doesn't have an at symbol so if it doesn't have an at symbol it'll it'll throw an error and it'll say hey this is supposed to be an email you're not entering an email so let's do a hint just say email and what else do we need we need an id so let's do input email and now we'll copy this and we're going to do pretty much the same thing but something for password so input password and you can change the hint to password and this is going to be password so text password and then we're going to use something else from the design library i'm just going to get a little more space down here we're going to use a app compact button so just start typing app compact app compact button right there and match parent for the width and wrap content for the height and then we're going to do a little margin on the bottom of just 25 dp and we need some text in there so just do login this is going to be the login button and id we'll do button login so btn login and let's do a little bit of padding 12 dp and we need to set a background i'm not sure if i did this background yet i want to make it white so if you look at the demo here it's white with like a gray border so let's go right click on drawables go to new and we'll say white white rounded button and create an item close the tag go back up into the tag and we're gonna we're gonna have two different states here so the first state i'm gonna do is when it's pressed because if you notice on this button when you click it it turns red that's we we can have two different states we can have a state that's not pressed and have a different color and have a state when it's pressed and change it to a red color so this one this top one is going to be the state pressed so just go state pressed and equals true and then go outside of the tags here and we can create a shape close that tag and inside the shape we can make a solid and do color equals uh, the color accent which is that red color and then we want to create a stroke so stroke and once again the color and this one's going to be black so color black and do this is going to be the border so width will do uh, 1 dp or do we want it black it's gray and then yeah black and red that'll be good and then we create the corners so that we can actually round the corners so just go radius equals 50 dp to make it really very round and that's it for that shape and then we just need to close the item tag which it already is and that's good so this is going to be our our pressed button now we can just copy this and we're going to do the state that's not pressed so basically we just remove this and we need to change the colors to this is going to be white and then this is going to be gray and that should be good now let's set that to our background here so the white and what is it should be white rounded button white rounded button there we go and i think that looks good it's still not rounded actually it might just not be showing up in the preview so i'll leave that and wait till we run it to take a look maybe try refreshing yeah it's still not showing as round that's okay i'll wait till we actually run the app because i think i think this should be fine and now we need to build that little text uh, sign up link down here. So this little section down here. So we're just going to make a, uh, a text view, just a plain old text view and do match parent for the width like we've been doing, wrap content and we'll do oops, a margin on the bottom, 25 dp. And what else do we need? We need some text. So the text will say no account, let's do lowercase no account yet create one and do some gravity center text size 16 dp and id will do link sign up that should be good so now outside of this linear layout we're going to do a progress bar for when the person oh actually we got to change the text color so text color to kind of link yeah that link blue there we go 
Okay, so now outside of the linear layout, we want to do a progress bar, and this is what's going to show when they're trying to log in. So progress bar, uh, how big do we want this thing? Let's make it a big one. 200 dp, uh, 200 dp, and an ID, login request, uh, loading progress bar, nice and descriptive, and center in parent, so true. And what else do we need? I think that's probably good. Then we can do uh, some text on the actual progress bar itself. So just do wrap content and wrap content and set some text. Please wait. And text color, do black. And text size, 20 SP. And then the most important part, which is align bottom and then set an ID to the progress bar. So this guy here, and we're gonna need a line. I guess I can just copy that and do a line uh, right, not parent right, a line right, and same thing, and a line left, and same thing. There we go. So now we have this kind of loading progress bar that's gonna be sitting. I don't really like how it actually covers that. Maybe. I'll bring it down just a little bit. So let's do a margin top of maybe 40 dp. Oh no, you can't because it's centered in parent. All right, so we'll take a look and see how that looks. If we don't like it, then we can move it, but that might be okay. Okay, so that is our login screen. Uh, so in order to test it, we have no way to navigate to the login screen right now. So maybe I'll just set it to the home screen right now. So let's just go into home activity. And no, there's too much stuff in there. Let's go to something where there's nothing likes activity so I'll just change I'll change the activity the file the uh, layout file in, in likes activity to activity login and then we'll just navigate to activity login just so we can see what it looks like and that should be good so let's uh, let's run the app and take a look at the layout that we made okay so we got our app open let's go to likes activity and it crashed but I can see the layout um, wonder why it crashed. Maybe I can fix it quickly. Uh, let's see. Probably the bottom navigation view. Okay, so let's just go into uh, likes activity and comment out this setup bottom navigation view, and just run that again. Okay, and go to likes activity, and there we go. Okay, so that's good. The layout looks good. We have our kind of Instagram logo at the top. We got our email input, password, the button. I'd like to actually move the button down a little bit. It's a little close to this password input, but everything is good. Everything is working in here. Uh, progress bar is obviously loading because I didn't set it to invisible yet, but there we go. That's, that's gonna be our login layout. In the next one, I'm going to create the file, the layout file for uh, creating a new account, so registering. And then after that one, we're gonna start actually doing the Firebase stuff. So adding users to Firebase, logging in, registering, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in that next video.